Hello and welcome back to Fruling, our Let's Play series on FS22. Right, figured we'd have a nice intro of the cows here from above. Uh, because of them, we are actually moving on to our next, well, our next task of the day, uh, which is, all oh right, got a little door here as well, uh, to use whatever comes out of this pipe. No, I'm joking. It's the slurry, and I am so excited to get started with that. Now, I don't reckon the harvester is in the way. I should be able to just pull right in beside this. Oh yes, perfect. Now it's perfect. Right. So, let's get ourselves set up and... We are filling. Oh, that's so cool. This little indicator lets you know how full or empty the tank is. That's brilliant. So we have 8,200 litres capacity. Alright, and we will take this down to our field. We will cover the entire thing with slurry. And then we will drill our cover crop in. Now, this is quite heavy. Um, <laughs> now, I was thinking, is it necessary to do the extra steps involved when whoop, when we have a cover crop? What I mean by that is, do I need to put a proper seed bed? Do I need to roll after I drill? These kind of things. I, I'm going to say no, because it's not the final product crop. When when we put the oat in, uh, which is what I'm pretty sure we're going to put in, when we put the oat in, then we will absolutely do all the necessary steps. Right. But we can fertilize once now, and then we'll put cover crop in, it'll fertilize again, and then it is fully fertilized. So all we have to do next time will be to cultivate, uh, seed bed create, uh, drill, and roll. No fertilizing necessary. Right, so we have our farm tech slurry apparatus ready to go. I'm just wondering the coverage distance. Oh my, that seems quite good. That's about right. Oh yes, look at it. Glisten in the sun. Alright, so this is actually, as I've said before, the very first time I've ever applied slurry uh, to a field, and I'm very happy about it. 16 clock, oi, 16, wasting my valuable liquid gold. Right, 16 kilometers an hour, so that's very good. Um, let's see, how central was I going down? All right, pretty good. So it hides under being mulched, hey? I wonder why does it still say... Right, but it is cultivated, yeah, so we're fine there. All right, we'll just hide the mulched thing for now, because, yeah, we are good. Right, we'll just get this little corner that we missed, hopefully. Not sure how that works, but no matter. Right, we'll line up this way. And hopefully we can see where we've been. This should be about right. Right, I guess it is uh, autumn now, so that's when the days start to get quite short. Right, if we stay on this track, we should be just fine. I will uh, go back and get any spots that were missed, but yeah, it's uh, it's we're, we're spreading slurry. I'm very excited about that. It is going very fast, though. I'm just realizing we're at 34 percent capacity already. Uh, 28 now. I wonder if we'll get one more pass out of it. At least it does have a quite a wide working width, though. Right, so we'll try and get one more pass out. Not pass out, we don't want to pass out. Maybe the fumes, but... Right. Try and maximize our 
coverage distance. Oh yes, that's fantastic. Right, and this is all a byproduct. We just we give the animals what they need. Well, in this case, the cows, and they produce manure and slurry. Very exciting. The manure, however, I will save for the uh, for the orchard because I have found a lovely little orchard trailer or uh, orchard muck spreader, I should say. Right. Well, there we have our first coverage of slurry ever. Very happy about that. So that was about 8200 litres, so about 16, I'm going to guess about 22,000 litres, maybe. We'll see. We'll see how much exactly. Right, we will head back to the farm, we will collect some more slurry, and we will go back as many times as we need until it's done. Should only be a couple more trips. have the slurry spread. Um, oh, I think I've <coughs> missed a little bit here. We'll try and get that last little bit. Right, and then this little bit. Right, okay. Now let's have a look and see how we did. Beautiful. So there were a few sections that showed up as not being harvested, which is why they are still um, still in the second fertilizing stage. So there we have it. We went through about, what, 16, 20, so yeah, about 22,000 liters, if my math is correct. Uh, so that was a pretty accurate guess. I am very happy with how that turned out. Absolutely thrilled about that. In fact, so thrilled that it deserves a beautiful screenshot, indeed. Well done. Well done to my ladies for spreading such fantastic slurry. <laughs> they have a good diet. I guess that helps. Right. So we will head back to the farm. We will put the slurry tanker away. We may as well fill it up. Now that we're using it, may as well fill it up. I would like to see, once we return, how much is left. Right, because they were producing it since the beginning and I haven't used any since and it's been about one year actually yeah we're in uh, we're in September now so there you have it it's been over just over a year that we've uh, been on the farm game time thank you ladies and let's get that filled up that's it. We only have 5,300 sorry, 5,359 litres left. So that was very near. Very near to not being able to complete. This is why I wanted to wait and use it on one big field. So that the next time we have to fertilise one more big field, we'll have another full load of slurry. Right, we'll get this tucked away. We will keep in the Deutz to run, well we could run the the seed drill with the Massey actually, um, but we shall see. Right, let's find our seed drill, let's turn the beacons off, and we'll get pre prepared rather, <laughs> prepared, we'll get prepared, oh geez, seed is way in the back. Right, we'll do some clearing out and we'll get it out in a minute. Alright, we are all sorted out. Yeah, I've put things away a little bit better. I hope it's a little bit better. Uh, we do have 
302 litres of seed. I really don't think that we will... Right, that is not seed. Um, I guess we don't have any more. Uh, what we'll have to... I swear I had more. What we'll have to do is just see how far it gets us, and then we'll run to the shop if we need uh, some more. However, I do not think that oil seed radish consumes very much seed. I guess we'll have to find out. Um, once we get the seed in the ground, then we'll realise if we have to roll or not. I really don't think rolling will be necessary with the cover crop. I, I just don't I just don't think so, because we'll be digging up anyways. So we'll put the crop in and go from there. Right, just about here now. Hello neighbours. Hopefully the owner of the what do we got? Of San Giovanni's Pizza Place. Hopefully he doesn't mind the smell. Potentially a smell. Right, so we need to... Actually, what I might do... Well, I could still roll just to get the stones out, but we'll have to yeah, deal with them later anyways. Change this to oil seed radish. Lower it down. Get lined up. And we're off. Right, so we are... Consuming seed quite slowly. That's one litre gone. Two litres gone. Well, it's very difficult to call. We'll have to wait and see how it turns out. But, at least we are, in fact, drilling our cover crop. I'm very excited about this, because I feel like I've been doing things in FS22... Uh, that I've never really done, even in 19. Not that I'm new to it in in 22, just things I haven't done at all in the game, period. So that's very exciting, including the slurry. Uh, and a cover crop is something I maybe did one time, but never really took advantage of. So I'm excited to be doing it now. Right, we will get lined up once more, and we will head out and get all of this drilled in. Sorry, just get them lined up. Beautiful. Alright, so yes, we will crack on with this. Uh, it is getting a little bit darker now. This uh, will be a very similar sort of uh, venturers with the cultivating, um, and I know that did take quite some time to do, <laughs> so I did end up splitting that time lapse up into two parts. I just, I don't really want the time lapses to be like really long. I uh, I would like your feedback on them. If you like them about a minute's length or if you don't mind that they sometimes go over a minute. Oh, did I not complete that? Sorry, I'm just looking at the where I drilled and it doesn't look like I had done the whole thing. Oh great, I've turned off the machine. Hmm. Yeah, weird. Right, anyways, as I was saying, I don't want the time lapses to be too often. Um, it's necessary. I, I don't think I could effectively uh, run this series without them. Um, and so hopefully you enjoy them. That being said, I don't like them to be too long. However, it has to be done sometimes, including uh, with, the <laughs> with the drilling of this field. Right, so we will crack on with this and enjoy the time lapse.
Right, well, as you can see, it's very late uh, into the evening now, considering that we started this at about 5 p.m. But then again, it does get darker sooner, so it's almost dark when we started, to be honest. But there we have it. We are... We are drilled. We have the whole field, uh, complete with oilseed radish, which will give us a cover crop. And... Right, so it says it does need rolling, which is something that will not matter once we dig into it. So if it was staying for good, then we would roll. So when we have the oat in, we'll roll it. Um, blimey, it goes in and it's immediately effective. I see I've missed a small amount while I am still here. I might as well try and clear that small amount up. Ah oh, yes, I see it there. Right, so that is done. And as I've said, we have no more rolling to do on this field. Or no more anything until we cultivate the crop in. Right, so also as you can see, 173 litres of seed left. Meaning that we used... I don't know. I can't even remember how much you started with. 100 maybe? Maybe about half is what we've used of what we had which is pretty fantastic so I think we're doing alright there right so we're gonna go to the farm once we get back and get all parked up uh, I'm gonna have a quick look at the animals see what they need before bed and also s make sure that there's nothing that can be sold um, in September before we move on to October right we'll get that all sorted see you in a minute Alright, so we are here in with the cows, and they seem to be getting on just fine with food. Uh, the slurry is depleted as we've used it all. They have lots of straw, lots of food, milk is uh, filling up, which is fantastic. They are two months away, I believe. It's been going up 10% every month. So they're two months away. Um, October, no. So about December time, they should have... Yeah, in the winter they should have their babies. That's fantastic. Uh, these ones will be reproducing soon as well, and they're good for food. The chickens, of course, not good for food, uh, which we might also have to move these in the next coming month or two. Right, so we will just bring food to the chickens for now, for, now, for tonight. And... So December... December, December, November. We'll keep the sorghum. Um, milk. Well, milk is good now at 22.69. But it goes up to 22.80 in December. Oh, wow, it's over that now. I wonder, should I... Should I wait goes down in October again, it says. Well, we don't need to buy any... Oh, but it's good, though, isn't it? Very good. Nah, we'll, we'll wait. We'll wait till January when it says is the best. I think I might have sold prematurely last time as well. So I don't want to do that again. Uh, this is not to be sold. And... Right, not that either. We have lettuce. I mean, that looks good. Three... No, not yet. January. So, lots of what we have to sell actually isn't... Can't be sold until January anyways. Silage uh, included. December. So, December, January for most things. November for canola. Right. Okay, that's all good. Let's get... So, I've just had to park this here for now. Because uh, I've run out of room. But we will get this back in. We'll get... Oh. I had disconnected already. Right, get rid of that. We will feed the chickens and then we will rest and we will see you in October. Good morning and welcome to October. So as you can see, it's a beautiful autumn day. Here, let's get a nice view of the farm from here. Oh, it's absolutely stunning that. I'm a big fan, a big, big fan of the, uh, of the autumn. Right, uh, so let's have a look at our animals. Definitely need 
to be fed the sheep as well we'll bring some hay to the uh, horse so we do have a few things to do there but if we look at our map we have many things on the go so our fields we have so the soybeans are not ready yet I reckon they will be ready uh, in November which is fine it gives us October to prepare field 13 and to also get a final well not a final cut necessarily but our last silage cut of the season before we go and sell our silage which I did just check and is best in December so that'll be fantastic we will start by feeding the chickens right so once we get that done we'll probably uh, get started in the other Right, oh, I did forget <laughs> when I fed the chickens last night as well. I forgot about the uh, the the road train that we have going, but I brought, bought both. I brought both trailers with me. Oops, it's all right. What I will do is I'd like to keep them together for when we do the the other stuff as well. Although to feed the sheep will not be easy. With uh, all right, they're getting on nicely. Uh, will not be easy with the road train, but I'm going to try it anyways. Actually, you know what, I will try. Getting very adventurous, because if I can get in this way... Oh yeah, look at that, no problem at all. Right. So the plan, the plan of attack, once we... Put some lights on. Once we get the animals fed, uh, then we will be looking at getting a helper to start with the... Uh, cultivating. Uh, the reason being is I want to get the grass work done as well because I'd like to, well ideally, I'd like to get all the uh, silage done as soon as possible so that I can go, let's just get this done first. There we are. Uh, right, I would like to get it done as soon as possible because, um, well, the sooner the better really the sooner it can start uh, fermenting, turning into silage. Right, that's done. Uh, now we will wait for it to go down and we will fill it with hay. Wait, did it say olives? So it must be all the whole grapes as well, no? Cannot. Oh, it can hold TMR. What game changer that is. So I'm kind of glad that it doesn't hold grape. I've just realized that it does hold TMR though. So I think what I'll do in the winter as well when we're not super busy is we'll make a load of it. Just a load of TMR. Right, what are we doing? Sorry. Hay. Oh right, hay is not here anyways. Right, but I'm glad to know that we can put TMR in there because I did not know that. So we'll fill that up with hay. Doesn't need a filling filling. This could be a bit tight. Nope, we're good. Right. dump the hay off for the horses so I have decided yeah I'm gonna start giving them hay when they're low for now because it makes up I, I assume it does combine the two together that's what I've been told in a comment so either way though whether this is full right I assume they just need to have some of it right I don't know I don't know I'm not worried about it they seem to be happy they are doing their thing the horseman is coming every day to take care of them because I will admit we are we have uh, become too busy to ride them every day and to clean them every day so I'm glad that the horseman is um, coming around right costs what a hundred hundred pounds a month so that's 50 a horse to ride and clean which is not really a bad deal actually considering that that does help to improve their overall um, well end price I guess when you go to sell them in the future. Right. 
Hello, sheepies. Oh, wow, you're producing wool. That's for certain. Okay. What? There we go. Right, the lettuce. Now, I need to get rid of this as well. I need to start doing something with this. I reckon, how much is in each pallet? 500 litres. How much have I got? Okay, so that's a fair amount of, of pallets. That's alright. Um, any more that uh, they will spawn when we move move them. Um, but yes, I would like to also try a different vegetable at some point. Uh, maybe tomatoes or something like that. So let's try and do this as diligently as possible. Right, that should be that should be fine. It's always an adventure trying to feed and water the sheep. Oh, I saw him coming at the last second. Oh, thank you. All right, give you a little Hong Kong for that. Really should have the beacons on though. All right. I'm coming with your water, sheep. And maybe they don't need to be watered every time that I feed them, but I'm here anyways, and it takes a couple of seconds to do it. So why not? I'll probably top up the greenhouse as well, since I'm here. Because, again, two seconds, and why not? Needs to be done at some point. Probably won't take all that much. Right, 70%. 70% is fine to put back without filling up, I think. Alright. Perfect. So what we might do in the winter time, when it comes time to selling, is we'll convert uh, both of our trailers into flatbeds, and we'll take them the same way we've uh, come here. The only problem is we'll have to use the Massey and it may struggle to to carry the two trailers together, but but we'll see. It's just it has our front loader on, so we need it <laughs> for that. We shall see how that goes. Right now, we have that done. We can head back to the farm and get everything sorted for the day. We'll see you back there. Alright, we are back to the farm now. As you can see, we are overlooking our little kingdom. Uh, this is where we will sign off this episode. Um, it'll be a very different uh, foreground uh, as far as the what used to be a canola field. We'll soon be vines, which is very exciting as we grow our little our little farm. We've got a grass meadow here as well. This soybeans they are going to be, you know what, let's have a very quick look before we sign off completely. Uh, look at that. That is our soybean field. It is absolutely beautiful. Um, it will probably be turned back into a meadow if we decide to keep it. Uh, but it just makes for a, for a very nice, um, nice scene from up here. Right, the whole map looks absolutely stunning from above. Right, so we will sign off with that. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, take care, and bye for now.